Yeah, the uh, temperature is going to be dr drastically colder uh, tomorrow. This is time lapse. And, you know, we got up to 61 today before the clouds came in at the end of the day. First Alert Weather Team has been talking to you about this for the last several days. The day would end with some rain chances. It's going to be the rain uh, with us overnight and then windy and colder tomorrow as the rain leaves. And then we're setting up for perhaps the first freeze of the season at DFW. Remember, at the first of November, it got down to 33 degrees. So it has yet to hit freezing at DFW, and we could do that Monday morning. As we take a look at radar, you can see this light rain that is just moving up out of the southwest. And, you know, a nice little round coming through Waco, headed up uh, towards our southeast counties. We've had a little round across Dallas County that's headed over Rockwall now, oh, headed out to Tawakoni, but. This has mostly just been some light rain. It could wet the roads, enough to wet the roads, I should say. So be careful if you're driving out around. There's no lightning with this, no severe weather with this, but the rain that's leaving Palo Pinto headed up into Cater. And there's just going to be more of this light shower activity we expect through the overnight hours. So here are your rain chances. They're going to hover 30 to 40 percent pretty much from here on out until we get towards daybreak tomorrow. Then the rain will leave. But as we take a live look down to Sundance Square, a little bit of light rain going on. Temperatures will be falling into the 50s, low 50s by the midnight hour with a passing shower on and off. Tomorrow's forecast will start with some clouds. From this rain tonight will be just clouds tomorrow morning and a really strong north wind. And temperatures will get only into the low 50s, so it's going to be a much colder day than the days we've had this work week. Here comes the front in the middle of the night. It's behind this front is this really brisk northwest wind that will be strong in the morning. Morning and at least the first three quarters of the day, you can expect some gusty winds. So if you have those Christmas direction uh, decorations out there, be forewarned. And here's the other thing I want you to know: Monday morning will probably start with a freeze. As we take a look at the seven-day forecast, it's going to take a while to climb out of this cold. We'll be in the 60s on Wednesday and Thursday again, even warmer heading into the weekend. But as we end the month and start December, we're going to start with some wet weather, especially on. On Thursday, where we could have some thunderstorm activity on Thursday.